I've got a winter sowing tutorial for you. I'm right in the middle of all my winter sowing, and I thought I'd show you how many seeds to put in a container and for the different size containers and just kind of give you a rundown on how I do it. Um, I've just put a few out today. I've got my Carmen peppers, my emerald giant peppers, which is what I'm going to show you today, my sun golds, ye yellow cherries, and orange bell peppers. So that's it for today. And right now I'm going to show you peppers, but they're identical to tomatoes. Now, I don't have my tripod up because it's a mess, so I'm going to try and hold still for you today. So the first one is, looks like a gallon of vinegar container. I love these. Just really easy to work with, and this is probably the third year on this one. And the second one is a two-liter soda container. I have a mishmash of everything because I don't have any plastic containers in my life, so I have friends and family uh, saving them for me, so I have every different kind you can imagine. Um, but they, they work really well, so... So right now I'm going to show you giant peppers. They're called emerald giant peppers. First time I've used that one. I couldn't resist a sale. They were over half off. And I'm really into um, doing giant uh, things this year. Got a giant Armenian cucumber and a giant pepper and one other giant one. Can't remember what it is right now. Um, but anyway, this is a, a, the second pot I've done of these. So pretend I'm also doing tomatoes. I do them exactly the same way. Okay, now for this gallon... First off, let me digress. This is just how I do it. You'll have a uh, hundred winter sowers showing you how they do it, and you'll see a hundred different ways, and they all work. And it's, it's a good, better, best thing. It's also a personal choice thing. So this is how I do it. You could just scatter tomato seeds all over and have a whole bunch of tomatoes and then separate out the little seedlings and put them in little uh, pots and then up pot them and up pot them till you get them to their final growth size um, where you're going to transplant them. I don't like to do it that way. I like to just plant my four, five, or six seeds per container, and then they grow bigger and stronger, and they're easier to transplant. So in this one, I did five. You can see I've got, I use a Sharpie pen, believe it or not. That is my hole digger. Let me show you. I just kind of go like that and just, you know, make a small hole. And you don't want to go too deep. You only want to go double the thickness of the um, seed. So this is a very small, th thin seed. So I just made a little slight indentation right there. And there's one seed, two. That one has two. I'll tell you why in a second. And there's one, and there's one. Now, usually with peppers and tomatoes, I put at least two to three seeds per hole. Why? First off, some seeds will fail. They just do. So I don't want to waste the container space and the uh, expectation and hope that I'm going to have a pepper plant with just one seed. Um, also, they can be stale, they can be old, they can just not germinate for different kind of reasons. So I'm just hedging my bets and I put two to three in a hole. Now that said, I've given so many of these seeds away to friends, I didn't have that many left, so I'm only doing one. And I, because they're fresh this year, I'm taking a big gamble. I usually don't like to do that, but I'm just doing one seed. So this container has five seeds. This one, the pot bottle, um, usually I do three in a pot bottle for tomatoes and peppers, but this time I did two. You can see one seed there, one seed there, and they're in their little holes. So let's see if I can walk and chew gum at the same time holding this and I just literally I take the end of my sharpie and lightly cover them with soil and you can also do the sprinkle method I have a cup sitting here um, with dry um, potting mix so I could just go and sprinkle like that over that but I, I don't need to it's nice and wet oh that's another thing I have my soil down here I pour it out of my bag into this container and I soak it with like two gallons of water so it's not drippy but it's close it's wet so when I put it in, it's wet. Then I get, I have a super duper spray bottle. And I soak the, uh, the soil before I put the seeds in. Then I put the seeds in. And then I spray it some more so the seed's moist. And then when I cover it, like right now, before I close it up, I give this a good soak. More than even right now because I'm on camera. Okay, let's do this one. Same thing. Just literally t lightly tapping it in. Whoops, got it stuck on the end there. Lightly, don't bury too deeply. And this one, I why did I put two in that one? One looked iffy. It was kind of brown and crinkly and dry. It looked a little iffy. So this big gallon has is going to give me at least five or six plants. So then I soak till just like way more than you'd think I would soak. And it just kind of sets them in too. Okay, I'm going to do more off the camera. So that is it. Make sure you've got your, your uh, tag inside, and then I'll flip it up. 
And I, I have my tape. Let's see, you've got a dog right there. Hi, Charlie. I, I put my tape in strips so I don't have to keep picking up the tape and then laying it back down. And I have these really good cutters that cut the tape right nice and clean. Um, I'll have a link below for these. I just discovered them at, I think, Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, super cutters. So I just usually line up all these strips of tape right here so I don't have to, because my hands are wet and muddy. And then the best way to tape it, I know this is simple little stuff, but it'll save you time. I close up the container, and a lot of them, they'll want to just pop right back, right? And you, you hold it down. So wherever the hinge is, I, I put the piece of tape right here. I guess I can show you. So I just put the tape up here. And I line it up, and then I close it, and then it sticks right there. And then I just run it around the side, run it around the side. Um, that way you don't end up losing a lot stuck to your legs or your arms or your face or whatever. So anyway, I've got to cross off that label and add my label. And I think that's it. Again, exact same method for tomatoes, peppers. I probably would do very close to the same with cucumbers and squash. Anything that's going to be a big plant... That's about the frequency or the, the count of how many seeds I put in there. Now, some plants, if they're a little bit smaller in the two liter pop, I will put three. I think some of these today, like the cherry tomatoes, I put three in that one. The orange bells, I put three in this one. But I'm so into this giant one, I wanted it to have plenty of room. I really wanted to make it. So anyway, that's just a little quick run through of um, putting my seeds in. I'll have more for you as I get going in the day. All right. Oh, make sure you subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, go ahead and get one because that way you can um, get one for free and you can comment and click like and have a lot more involvement in the YouTube world, which we all really appreciate. A thumbs up, as always, is deeply appreciated. It helps my channel get the word out to as many people as possible. So anyway, thank you. Love you guys. Bye.